Andrew Neil has dubbed the UK impotent in aiding Ukraine in its crisis, saying Russia's attack serves as proof it is time to grasp the lesson that Western foreign policy needs urgent transformation. Amid fighting in Kyiv, where the Ukrainian army defends itself from Russian troops, the Scottish journalist issued a stark warning to the West, claiming they can't look the other way when dictators threaten our freedom. Scrutinizing the UK's sanctions on Moscow. Mr. Neil pressed Prime Minister Boris Johnson to do more in a conflict in which he says the UK has a crucial role to play. He wrote, London, Washington and Brussels assure us they, sanctions, are strong and severe. But for Putin they will be no more than an irritant. On Wednesday, Mr. Johnson announced the government will be targeting Russian banks Rossiya, IS Bank, General Bank, Promsvyats Bank and the Black Sea Bank, as well as three Russian billionaires, Gennady Timchenko. Boris Rotenberg and Igor Rotenberg, who will have their UK assets frozen and not be allowed to enter the country. Later, as the long-standing diplomatic crisis between Moscow and the West turned into a full-scale military conflict, a ramped-up list of measures against Moscow followed. It includes a rise in the number of individuals being targeted from 3 to more than 100, a freeze on the £154 billion assets of Russia's second-largest bank, VTB, which had not been included in the first wave of sanctions, and legislation being introduced to Parliament next week that will prohibit the ability of all major Russian companies to raise finance on UK markets as well as for the Russian state to raise sovereign debt on UK markets. The Prime Minister said, Putin will stand condemned in the eyes of the world and of history, he will never be able to cleanse the blood of Ukraine from his hands. Dot. In Mr. Neal's view, the punishment is far from strong enough. He claimed, Boris Johnson has tried to camouflage the intrinsic weakness of the financial and economic sanctions he announced last week by bigging up his new controls on Russian oligarchs. The idea Putin cares about the fate of a few of his cronies when he is on the brink of grasping the great geopolitical prize that is Ukraine has been one of the more pathetic features of Britain's response to Russian aggression.